What's going on guys, Mexicalit here with another CSGO video, and today I'm going to be making another video talking about the duplication exploit in CSGO. And I kind of referenced this in my last video and I think some people were kind of confused. And I have another video talking about this from kind of a while ago, but in that video I actually said that uh, they kind of fixed this so people can't do it anymore. But apparently there's actually a new way and people are still getting away with doing this, which is quite a uh, massive problem for the CSGO economy because obviously if tons of items are duplicated it causes inflation of course and items start to go down in value and I'll be going over some items that have been duplicated and I'll try to state the basis of how the duplication works. I mean I don't know the exact steps and I probably wouldn't want to tell the exact steps in a video but I, I saw some posts about how it's done so I kind of know what people are doing and they're actually managing to duplicate skins still. And this isn't some sort of glitch or hack. There isn't like some leet hacksaws that uh, could duplicate skins for CSGO, which is what I thought a while ago when I first heard about duplicated skins. But there's no one that's able to do that as far as I know. But basically what people are doing is they're actually abusing Steam support themselves and there's apparently this method where you like put an item in a gift and then you give it to some other account and you can basically then submit some sort of support ticket or ask for a refund and that item gets refunded and then you get another one back. I think you have to have multiple accounts to pull this off and it's not too easy to pull off. But basically Valve is refunding items and people are using this like gift system in order to duplicate items for CSGO. And in my other video I said that there's skins are only duplicated like two or three times. But now there's actually skins that have du been duplicated tens and dozens of times. It's just ridiculous how many times some of these skins have been duplicated. In fact there's a dragon lore that has 89 duplicates of it right now. And um, it might even have more because a lot of these are probably hidden on private inventories. But basically what people can do is they can duplicate a skin, then they'll have uh, two of them, then they can duplicate both of those, so then they'll have four of them and it just exponentially gets bigger and bigger and then they have tons of whatever skin they're duplicating. And the skin that's probably duped the most, or the most expensive skin that's duped like in the masses is the Op Dragon Lore. And this skin has just been duplicated to insane amounts. There's actually one Dragon Lore that has 89 duplicates of it. And if you're wondering how you check for duplicates, you can look on CSGO.exchange. And if there's more than one of a skin with the exact same float value, it's probably duplicated. But actually, before you determine that it's duplicated, you might want to make sure both of the profiles are reloaded. Because sometimes it may just be one inventory was private or just the dealer is not reloaded on both accounts. But if there's actually two dealers that have the exact same float value, that means that dealer is duplicated. It's impossible for two skins to have the exact same float value. And for one of the Dragon Lores, one that has a 0 0.1498 float, or at least that's what the start of it is, there is 89 factor new duplicates of it. There's also 55 factor new duplicates of a 0 0.0694 float dra Dragon Lore. And there's 40 duplicates of a 0 0.01. 364 Dragon Lore. So there's a lot of duplicated Dragon Lores out there. And if you're wondering how it affects the prices, it's actually causing the prices to go down a pretty good amount for the Dragon Lore. And there's actually people selling Dragon Lores for less than 600 keys. I think I saw like a 0 0.01 float one go for less than 600 keys. And there was like a 0 0.061 that went for like 570 keys, which is ridiculously cheap. I mean, back in the day, these used to sell for like 700 to 800 keys. No, they never sell for anywhere close to there, unless it's like an ultra low float one. If it's like two zeros at the start of the float, and um, it's just a really low float, like 0 0.005 or less, you can. The prices on those ones haven't really been affected too much. It's mainly these kind of higher float ones that are more easily accessible. Those ones are going to be going down in price a lot. I don't know if they're still going to go down in price. It's really the only item that's been affected by the duplication severely. Um, some other skins have been duplicated, such as uh, Krambit Sapphires. Actually, the Krambit Sapphire has been duplicated quite a good amount. There's 31 duplicates of one float Krambit Sapphire. Um, actually, a pretty good float at 0 0.007, I believe. And there's also 11 duplicates of another one that's a Krambit Sapphire. But the Krambit Sapphire prices haven't gone down in price too much. Actually, I haven't really seen any sort of price drop on those too much, which which is good. Um, I mean, try not to like panic sell your items, I guess, because that kind of makes everything go down in price. But anyway, uh, D-Lords have gone down in price a lot. Uh, Krambit Sapphires have been duplicated a lot. For some reason, the prices haven't gone down too much yet. Probably because they haven't been duplicated to the extreme amounts of a Dragon Lore. 
Um, in order for a skin to go down due, due to duplication, it either has to be a super rare skin that gets duplicated, so there's it's no longer like one or two in the world, now there's multiple of them, or it just needs to be duplicated to insane amounts such as the Dragon Lore, and then it will start to affect the prices. So, what can we do about this? Well, Valve needs to kind of like crack down on their system so people can't do this exploit anymore. It's pretty important for the game that this gets uh, fixed. I mean, they really just need to crack down on this. I don't know how they're still falling for this whole, like, gift system. I mean, I don't know if there's really much we can do. I mean, we can try to, like, talk to them about this, post on, like, the Steam forums that there is people duplicating items using the gift system, I believe. And I believe there's some people that know the exact way to do this. And I probably, I saw a post about it on Reddit, actually, but it was deleted later. I don't really remember everything it said, but it did say it was using the GIF system, and I mean, I can't really say the exact steps in a video anyway if I did know, because then there would be more people doing this, and I guess the best way is if you know the steps, just tell tell Valve about them, tell Valve about it, try to um, submit a support ticket actually just telling them about uh, this duplication exploit, and hopefully it will be fixed, and hopefully the CSGO economy doesn't get hurt anymore. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. A lot of people wanted me to make a video about this because I guess it's kind of important. And um, hopefully, if we spread some awareness, something will finally be done about this uh, terrible exploit, which is screwing up the prices for some certain skins in CSGO. There's even a lot of lower tier skins, like uh, stuff that's under $400. It's also duplicated a lot. You may not even realize it, but there's a lot of people that know how to do this now. And it's kind of a problem, so hopefully it's fixed soon. I mean, don't like panic sell all your skins. Not too many skins have been affected by this um, when it comes to the prices, at least. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. And I'm McSkillet, and I'm out.